Are you confused about binomial probability distributions? You came to the right guy. All right, mathletes. So what I want to focus on today is how to calculate binomial probabilities. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this TI-84 plus, or we're going to use the graph in calc uh, app. So I think I'm, I'll probably use the app because number one, it's free, it's more accessible. And if you have the calculator, the steps are pretty much the same. So that's the great news. All right, so let's check this out. Um, so first you have a decision to make, right? You have to decide, do I want to use binomial PDF or there's this other program called binomial CDF. So when you're calculating only one probability, right? And you know we're looking at a binomial distribution and we're looking at exactly one of those X values. What you're gonna wanna do is find, uh, you're gonna use the binomial PDF. And we have a bunch of examples for you today. So again, make sure you watch to the, to the end here. And what you're gonna need to enter into your calculator is make sure you know the number of trials, right? And make sure you know the probability. And of course, you know, what number are we looking at? Are we looking at the probability of exactly three of them taking place? Of exactly, you know, choosing three boys, whatever it is, the situation. So we'll look at examples so you know exactly what we mean. And when you're doing this, right? So for example, if I wanna find the probability of P of four, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everything in this order. So let me actually walk you through this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend my N is 15 I'm going to pretend my probability is 0.3 of that taking place, of that success happening. And um, when I say success, that just means the probability of me, you know, getting what it is, whatever we're looking at, right? If we're looking at the problem, how many boys are there um, in a, a group? So what's the probability of choosing four of them? So that would be a success looking at that four right there, because that's what it is that we're interested in. All right. And so what we're gonna do is let me pull up my calculator that you guys might have. And regardless, even if you don't have this app, um, you should have your TI-84 plus. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to second and you're gonna go to distribution. Go all the way down and because we're looking at exactly one probability, right? You're gonna use binomial PDF, all right? So we need the number of trials. For this example, I said it was 15 comma we need our probability, which here I just stated is 0.3, which is making this up. And our X value that we're interested in is we're looking at the probability of getting exactly four of whatever it is we're looking at. And then close up shop here with your parentheses, hit enter. So there you have it. And again, make sure you read the instructions of when you're finding these probabilities of how many decimal places we want to round to. All right, so that's what we're looking at. And that's how we're gonna use uh, this app to help us out. It's really easy. All right, the second thing we're gonna look at, let's take a look. We're gonna see what happens when we want to compute more than one probability. So let's read this. So to compute the probability that you have something that's less than or equal to X, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select CDF. And I, I wanna explain what CDF does, all right? And so again, we're gonna enter in our N, our P, and our X, separated by commas, just like we did. So in this example, our sample size is gonna be 15. The probability of the event occurring is still 0.3, and X equals two. But here, we're not saying X is only two. So when you're using prob um, binomial CDF, this program right here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna find the probability of zero things taking place, the probability of one, and the probability of two. So whatever your X value is, this is what you're gonna go up to. So whenever you're using that program, it's very important that you keep in mind, you start at zero and you go all the way up to that X value, all right? So how do I use it and where do I find it? So again, let's go to our calculator we're gonna go to second, we're gonna go to distribution here and go all the way down. This time we're looking at binomial CDF, right? And the same thing goes, how many trials do we have? 
what's the probability of a success taking place and how many uh, what's our x value that we're looking at in this case it's two all right and then we'll hit enter and there you have that probability of all of those um, individual probabilities added up all right so let's look at some examples here all right now that you know what these programs are doing all right so here's x an example so we got a research center here and it's reported that approximately 30 percent of the internet users in the united states use the image sharing website pinterest right and suppose a random sample of 15 internet users is taken so there's our n value right use the binomial distribution probability distribution to find the following probabilities all right so here's our first one find the probability that exactly four so notice we're only finding this one probability that p is exactly four all right so some things i want to uh, lay out number one they tell us n is 15 our probability is 0 0.30 and then x in this case is four and what i'll highlight is for this example it says exactly four so that's how you are going to know to use binomial pdf so let's go ahead and let's do that so we're going to go to our calculator we're going to go to second distribution here uh, we're going to go binomial pdf binom pdf and 15 comma 0.3 comma four and we already saw those numbers upstairs so let's just round to four decimal places so 0 0.2186 0 0.21 0 0.2186 and there's a probability of finding exactly four uh, users that use pinterest all right so again that's how we use binome pdf binome there's an m in there pdf all right, so when they, again, you're only looking at um, exactly a certain amount of successes here, in this case, four. All right, let's look at this next example. So same situation, right? But now it says find the probability that fewer than three. So let's think about that, fewer than three. So find the probability that X is less than three because it said strictly fewer, right? We're not including three. So we're looking at the probability of zero plus the probability of one plus the probability of two. All right, so when we're using binomial CDF this time, because now look, it's more than one probability, right? Our X value, very important we identify the X value, is two because that's the highest number that we're going up to. And once again, our N value is still 15 and our x value is still 0.3. And so let's go ahead and those numbers probably look familiar, right? Because I was setting up the scene for you. So let's go ahead to our calculator and we're gonna hit second, right? It doesn't hurt to do this again, get extra practice. Binomial CDF, because again, we're doing more than one, 15 comma 0.3 comma two. And again, when you use CDF, we're adding all those up. We're adding the probability of two and then everything below that. So write that down in your notes, very helpful. And so we're rounding 1268 here, 1268. So we end up with this equaling 1268, we said. Fantastic. All right, so let's jump into now the good stuff when it gets a little bit more complicated but not here in Dr. Math Studios. So what's going on? So now we're trying to find the probability that more than one person uses Pinterest, all right? So more than one user, right? More than one person. So that means X is greater than or equal to one. So notice it's greater than, I should not say equal to, because it just says more than one. So X has to be strictly more than one. So where do we start? We start at two. And then we're looking at the probability of three people using Pinterest, plus the probability of four people using interest. And we do that all the way until we get all 15 users using Pinterest, right? And so you could see that there's quite a few 
uh, many calculations that you would go through. And so will this work? Absolutely. But in my opinion, it's way too long. I'm going to show you a shortcut. All right. And uh, the shortcut involves just you really understanding the idea of complements. And if you don't have the understanding, make sure you watch our video linked below where we talk about the usefulness of complements and how to think about it. Right. So what I want you to focus on is what are those probabilities that were ignored? Right. So notice we didn't look at the probability of zero people using Pinterest and we didn't look at the probability of one person using Pinterest. So since these two are ignored, what I'm going to say is I know that if I were to throw these two in the mix, right? If I start at probability of zero plus all of these all the way to the probability of 15, everything has to equal one, right? But because these two are ignored, I'm going to use the idea of complements and remember what that says. So the complement says, well, what I could do is I could do one minus those two probabilities that were ignored, right? And what that's going to leave me with, right? What that's going to leave me with is that's going to leave me with the same probability, oops, as me adding up all those probabilities that I was after dot, 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 all the way to the probability of 15. So instead of adding up all these that we discussed, it's much easier just to eliminate the ones that we didn't uh, find, right? And then do one minus those probabilities. And that's going to leave us with all the ones that we are interested in. Right? And that's going to be much easier. So how can we get our calculator to help us? Well, one thing to remember is what does binomial CDF provide us with? Binomial CDF, what it does is it always starts with find the probability of exactly zero plus the probability of exactly one plus, and it goes on from there. So it always starts at zero here. And if you notice, right, that's not what we're looking at. In this case, we want to start at the probability of two people using Pinterest plus the probability of three people using Pinterest. And that's not what we're after. So for binomial CDF, what we're going to do is we're going to have it find the probability of one plus the probability of, sorry, the probability of zero plus the probability of one. And then we're going to get rid of those two. So that's why we're going to do one minus these two probabilities here. All right. So how does this look with our calculator? <coughs> Excuse me. So when we use our calculator, we're going to do one minus binomial CDF. And what this is going to allow us to do is get rid of all those probabilities up to one. Because again, those were not the ones that we were interested in. So let's go ahead and plug this into our calculator here. All right. So let's go to our calculator. Let me clear this. We do one. Let me get my mouse here. Minus second distribution. We're going to go to binomial CDF because we're doing more than one probability here. Uh, we have 15 trials. The probability of any one of those trials taking place is 0.3. And we're going all the way up to the probability of one. Hit enter. So our number is 0.9647. So there's our probability there. So that's where this number right here came from. So this number right here, this probability, right, for more than one person using Pinterest. So what this did is this found the probability of two people using Pinterest plus the probability of three people using Pinterest, plus the probability of exactly four people using Pinterest, and so on. So what's really important is that you understand this idea of complements because it's going to save you a lot of work. Right here, we only have 15 users. Imagine if we went all the way up to 150, right? You'd be doing this all day. So please make sure, again, that you understand that idea of complements. Let's do another example. So check this one out. We want to find the probability that the number of people who use Pinterest is between one and four inclusively. So we are looking at one and we are looking at four. So find the probability that X is between right four and one. So before we do that, make sure you smash that like, that like button, right? So this problem right here is going to earn us hundreds of likes. So share this video, right? A lot of people need help with this problem. So at least like it, 
subscribe, right? We need you guys' help. So check this out, all right? First, let me write down what is it that we're looking for. We're looking for the probability of one plus the probability of two plus the probability of three plus the probability of four, all right? What I'm gonna do here is let me add in the probability of zero. And I did it in red there because notice, I know I don't want to include it. I know it's not part of the formula. The reason I'm including it is because unfortunately, right, uh, binomial CDF does not start um, at one, right? It always starts at zero. So I need to tell my calculator somehow to get rid of that one, right? So let's think about this. I want to make sure that my calculator adds up all these probabilities minus this one, right? It adds up all these probabilities up to four. We know how to do that, right? So if I think about it, that's binomial, right? Binom CDF, and I enter 15, probably the probability, and then where I want it to stop, right? That's where I want it to stop. So what this is gonna do, the way I have it written right here, it's gonna start, it's gonna end at four, but it starts at zero. So I want to get rid of this one right here. So to get rid of it, then I know I could just subtract it. So minus binom PDF. And why am I saying PDF? Because notice, I just need to get rid of this one. Let's pretend this was a two, right? If this were a two, then I would also need to get rid of P of one, right? And then I could use binomial CDF. But in this case, I'm only eliminating this one right here. So that's why I'm doing binomial PDF because I'm only eliminating this one right here. So, and I go 15.3 comma zero. All right, so I'm only eliminating that probability right there. So let's go ahead and plug that in and let's see what we get. So again, we're gonna go to second. Let me use my mouse so you guys could see. Second distribution, binomial CDF, 15 comma 0.3 comma four. And then make sure you close that parentheses. Then you're gonna do minus second distribution binomial PDF this time, because we're only looking at getting rid of that one probability, 15 comma 0.3 comma, and then zero, because we're only getting rid of that one probability, enter. So 0 0.5107, 5107. So let's write that down, 5107. So there's our probability of finding the number of people who use Pinterest being between one and four inclusively. All right, so again, hopefully this makes sense. And before you leave, we're interested in what you guys think about this problem. Let's add in an E for our viewers, all right? So what we want you to do is find the probability, I kind of gave you a hint already, that X is between two and four and we want you to share your answers below. Let us know what you think and we'll reply to your answers. Hopefully you enjoyed that video, Mathletes, and we'll see you guys next time in Dr. Math Studios. Peace.